Hi there, the Evergreens here with a special message from the Community Foundation for the Alleghenies, which celebrates 30 years of being part of our community this summer. CFA asked us to help them thank the donors who have decided to give local through CFA and invest right here in our region. They can't thank you enough and are honored to help you make your best wishes for our community come true. You are kind and generous.
Hello, and thank you all for joining the Community Foundation for the Alleghenies as we celebrate 30 years of helping our donors make their best wishes for our community come true. That's been our aim all along, and we share those wishes. I'm proud to say since 1990, we've been able to invest more than $103 million in grants and charitable distributions in our community on behalf of donors. That figure represents more than 28,000 individuals, hundreds of local causes that have been able to grow and provide much needed support for our friends and neighbors right here in our community. The Community Foundation started because a group of local people wanted to make sure our community would always have the support it needs. These were special people who wanted to make a difference, not just for a year or for a single project. But I must say this has been a weird year. Let's face it, we didn't think we'd be holding this event at the Silver Drive-In. Still, I'm proud to say that because of people like you, people who care deeply about our region, we were ready and equipped to help our community navigate challenges we've never encountered before. When the pandemic hit, we were already working to help local donors to deploy resources. We were honored to be able to leverage this aspect of Community Foundation work, our adaptability, and put it into motion at a greater speed than we've ever seen before. Within less than two weeks, we were able to create a crisis fund and begin providing local emergency funding to nonprofits responding to health, human services, and economic hardships facing our friends and neighbors. That's a testament to the vision of our founding members as well as to you and to our community, a community that was there to provide help when help was needed. To our donors, we're grateful for each one of you and inspired by the heart you have for people in our region. You stepped up. We are honored to help you show your love for our community. Thanks also to our community partners, the nonprofits who are the boots on the ground. We're proud to support the work you do and to connect donors with the change-making work that you do. For this year, I'm proud to report that your community foundation continues to grow even during this unusual time. Our assets grew from $78 million to $82.3 million as of this June 30. We made grants and charitable distributions of over $11 million, images of which you are seeing on the screen. We received donations from more than 5,100 separate donors, totaling over $14 million. Thank you all. This happens because of you. We also want to thank everyone who made this special event tonight possible. The Community Foundation Board of Directors, the Silver Drive-In, the Evergreens, Matt Otis and the Sound, and J.D. and Cindy, Top Dog Productions, Damon Printing, Bedford Candies, and all the vendors who helped make tonight memorable. Thank you. Now, Mark Pascarilla, our board chair, will say a few words. But first, I know you can't really applause, so let's give a big symphony of beeping horns to thank all our sponsors as they scroll across the screen. Thank you. As Mike mentioned, of all that our community has going for it, one of our greatest assets is the people who call this place home and those who have chosen to invest their time, money, and effort to make sure our region and future generations have a bright future. Donors, thank you for showing your love for our community. Volunteers and nonprofit leaders, we so appreciate all you do. You are all making a difference, and we're honored to help you have an impact that will last forever. We all know our community is a special place, but we are not the only ones. Because we are watching Back to the Future together, we thought it might be fun to reach out back to a future star, Leah Thompson, who spent time in Johnstown for all the right moves to see whether she remembers our area. Of course she does. We're excited to share a special message from her to our community. And again, we hope you'll have a great evening and enjoy the movie. 
We're thankful for you and all you do. And don't forget to wear your face mask. And here's Leah Thompson with a special message. Hello, hi, I'm Leah Thompson. Uh, I, you may know me from Back to the Future, but I made a movie called All the Right Moves in Johnstown some, what, 37 years ago? Uh, I had such great memories of the people, of the town. Um, I would love to go back sometime. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to congratulate the Community Foundation for the Alleghenies for their 30th anniversary and all of the donors. Uh, you do great work. Thank you so much for all that you do. So uh, it's amazing all, all that you've accomplished in 30 years. So thank you and all the very best and happy 30th.